Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. As of December 2nd, 2020. Well, today in Stimulus News, we got Mitch McConnell has come up with a new, and the yes, right, you heard me, a new stimulus package of his own creation, and we're not going to like it. Trust me, I've already read over the details, and it sucks. It totally sucks, and I'll tell you why it bleed on my program if you stick with me. Also, Nancy Pelosi has also come up with her a new stimulus package as well. But yet, we know very little, or should we say next to nothing, about her stimulus package idea. As well as Pelosi and Schumer also issued a joint statement concerning the $9.8 billion stimulus plan that was made by the lower ranked Republicans and Democrats in the Senate. And I actually have a statement that I'm going to put up in my, my left corner of the screen to, so you know what she said. This way, if you guys have any comments about that, please feel free to comment because I'm welcome to all comments concerning this because this concerns everyone that needs the help and how the games that the politicians are playing. So please read this letter carefully. And then if you have any comments about it, please let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. And let's see here. The other thing I'm trying to figure out is why Nancy Pelosi basically is uh, basically going to accept the is saying that the nine point eight billion dollar uh, stimulus package proposed by the ranked Democrats and Republicans in the Senate is the framework to a stimulus package, but yet. When it came came to the Problem Solvers Caucus uh, March to Common Grounds Act, which I believe was one point five trillion dollars with a uh, a booster for a second stimulus check in March, or so one point nine two trillion dollars stimulus package, I was also thrown. Why she didn't accept any of those, or even say those were a good framework and 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 move upon that compared to the nine point eight billion dollar one that she was saying is good framework and she's going to move upon. McConnell said that he would accept any COVID relief to be added on the government funding bill. But as we know, Nancy Pelosi is against adding stimulus relief onto the, the government funding bill because she doesn't like to piggyback it. And in fact, if you remember correctly, earlier in the pro, in earlier, more earlier programs, I also talked about that with Mitch McConnell. He was also against that idea as well. And now he changed his mind and he wants to put stimulus relief and piggyback it on the government funding bill. The only reason why he wants to do that is because his vacation is coming up soon and he wants to get something out to the people even if it sucks. Here's McConnell's new super skinny bill. Yeah, that's right. Super skinny bill proposal. Uh, so he basically is, you're not going to like it, trust me. But let's see what's inside it, shall we? To give you a heads up, there is no stimulus checks and there is also no supercharged unemployment. The only thing that the um is on there is the PE, sorry, the PEUL and PEUC, sorry, my LCC. It's the PEUC and the PUA. Uh the the PEUC is an extension of the unemployment program by 13 weeks. So in other words, your current standard of unemployment, if you're getting, say, 125 bucks a week, and it's due to expire on the 31st of December, it just give you a 13-week extension, which would take you to sometime in the middle of March or toward the end of March. The PUA is for the self-employed and would also give an extension to it for about the same amount of time and the deadline to get these extensions would be January 31st of next year to apply for them. Otherwise you lose the extension. It also has liability protection for businesses, hospitals, colleges, churches, nonprofit organizations, and many more businesses. It establishes a second round of paycheck protection money, but to be eligible, you have to have 300 less employees, and show a 25% reduction in profit, and it would give a between 2019 and 2020, basically, for the 20% reduction in profit. 
He would give a streamline of forgiveness applications for loans for up to $150,000. There's a grant program for shuttered live venues and theaters to help out the struggling actors and stuff, the struggling actors in those type of venues. And this package by McConnell would make business meals 100% deductible instead of 50% deductible. That's right. Let, let's give all the high-ranking business people 100% deduction on their meals so they decide to eat out more so they can actually pay less on taxes. How nice is that, right? It also gives $31 billion for vaccines, $20 billion for farmers, $500 million for fisheries, $5 billion for child care, with a $10 billion for... Um, Fillers for back to work for the child care grants. So that's so basically the parents have to go back to work. It basically helped them out by giving them uh, an extra $10 billion to help find child care so they go back to work. I wouldn't give them a direct payment. It, it just, you know, it just helps out the child care purposes only. And the offset of this bill basically is a repurposed $140 billion from the CARES Act. So there's all that money that was we still have unspent in the CARES Act. $140 of that is being repurposed for Mitch McConnell's new super skinny bill. So basically there is no base, no new money being added to it. And so basically the bottom line is the bill absolutely sucks. And the people are basically being forgotten about yet again by McConnell. Isn't that nice of him? He don't care about the people. He'd rather have us starve and die and go homeless. Like, as you see in his bill, because it does not include unemployment. It does not include a second stimulus check. And it does not include rental assistance of any type. So we're getting neglected by him, which really sucks. So, and if you've been noticing his health, his health isn't getting any better. So... Hopefully he'll be smart enough and actually step down as a leader of the Republicans and let someone with a brain step in. Because apparently McConnell and the state that voted him to back in as the Senate representative and the leader of the Republicans in the Senate have no brain. And in the COVID-19 news, we reported that we had 184,294 new cases and 2,610 fatalities on Tuesday. As you see, our numbers are jumping and jumping and jumping, and yet, as far as it comes to stimulus and helping out the people, the numbers are dropping, dropping, dropping. So maybe we should, I don't know, see if we could do something about getting politicians in office that actually want to help us out and show the people the respect they deserve since it's our money that they are spending. That's right. McConnell, he got voted back into Senate. He basically got a $60,000 spending a budget to basically refurbish his office the way he likes it that's how it is with all the senators all the house of democrat uh, all the house representatives and the president actually gets i think hundred and fifty thousand dollars to remodel the white house the way he likes it we need to get rid of these bills because these type of things are not helping us out i mean yeah i grant you we can give biden one hundred fifty thousand dollars to remodel the white house because who would want to be in the White House after Donald Trump? I mean, he's a very bad president because he has broken his his word to the people by saying that he would actually pass a stimulus package after the elections. And he has failed us. He is more worried about his votes and trying to see if the Electoral College will keep him in power. Well, let's hope the Electoral College removes his sorry butt from power and put Biden in there because Biden is talking is still talking about doing bigger and more stimulus in the beginning in when he begins power next year. But until then, this is the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update, and it always will be because I do this for you, not for me. Because you guys, I you guys need to know what's going on, so you know how much our government has forgotten about us. But I have not forgotten about you guys. So until the next time, you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Have an excellent night. Please stay safe. And remember, we're all in this together because basically it's all we got is each other. We don't got a government no more. They're corrupt. So until then, you have a wonderful night.